From weird galaxies to stars with a magnetic field so strong they'd turn you into a cloud, all the way to how the Milky Way is mysteriously disappearing. We've got some concerning things to talk about today as we cover part 3 of the top 10 concerning objects that are not from this planet. Starting off in our number 10 spot we have Dragonfly 44. This is what is called an ultra diffuse galaxy and it is located in the Kama Cluster. This galaxy is of concern because of some interesting observations that were made in relation to it back in 2016. Basically, this galaxy was first discovered because of the influence it is having on our Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers noticed some strange sort of ripples in our galaxy and subsequently realized that this was due to the pull of Dragonfly 44's gravity as it orbited around our own. Of course, once it was realized that this galaxy was the culprit, experts started looking into the galaxy more, and that is when it was realized that this galaxy is actually quite dark. In fact, we can only really see this galaxy due to four bright stars that shine out of the otherwise dark, gloomy galaxy. This has led to the hypothesis that this galaxy must be largely made of dark matter. This is extremely interesting because not only is dark matter one of the most pressing mysteries of space, but this galaxy was found to be made up of 99.99% dark matter. Some even say that this galaxy shouldn't even really be able to hold itself together with so few stars. This is all to say that this galaxy is extremely interesting, and with further investigation and research, it may just be the key that helps us understand what in the world dark matter really is and what it's made of. In our number 9 spot today we have cosmic disappearance. Some sort of unidentified thing that is larger than anything in our known universe is sucking portions of the Milky Way away. I know, it's terrifying and it definitely is concerning considering it's the place that we all call home. This discovery came in 2009 when researchers first found a cluster of galaxies moving at extremely fast speed towards a small area of sky. This area is located between the constellations of Centaurus and Vela, and whatever this whole thing is, it has experts completely stumped as to what it could be. For now, it remains a space mystery that has been dubbed Dark Flow so that it can sit on the shelf with the other terrifying space mysteries like dark energy and dark matter, whatever those are. In our number 8 spot today, we have Tycho. This is what is being called a zombie star. This frightening name comes from the fact that this star was once a white dwarf, which is basically what is left over after a star explodes but its mass was not enough to become a neutron star or a black hole. What's different about these zombie stars, however, is that they have gobbled up a bunch of mass from another nearby star, which then leads to them exploding all over again in what is called a Type 1a supernova. These blasts are insanely luminous and bright. Some even say that they have the light of one billion suns. This is all to say that they are insanely interesting objects and events that exist in the universe, and they are also thought to be helping scientists study what the heck dark energy is. In our number 7 spot today we have Oumuamua. A few years ago scientists all agreed that we had found an object that was flying through our solar system and they called it Oumuamua and it was widely agreed that it was an interstellar comet that had swung out from around another star. Upon closer examination however they realized that something was propelling it and causing it to accelerate and this is when the debate started because they just don't really know why. Evie Loeb who is a Harvard University astrophysicist proposed the idea idea that rather than a comet, this could be an alien probe that is being pushed by a light sail, which is a very wide but extremely thin piece of material that accelerates by being pushed by solar radiation. Other scientists didn't agree with this and instead said that it's possible that hydrogen ice could have melted off of the object in a way that would mimic a rocket engine or something of that nature. Avi then wrote in a study that hydrogen ice is too easily heated and it would have melted off long before it reached our solar system. I guess all in all we just have to wait it out while the scientists debate bait and gather more evidence to really know what is going on behind this one. In our number 6 spot today we have the wandering moon. The moon is apparently slowly, sadly, moving away from earth. When I say slowly, I mean slowly as it's at a rate of about half an inch a year, but still, when we're talking about our cosmic best buddy, the moon isn't only the thing that lights up our night sky, the moon plays a vital role to our lives here on earth due to its great companionship and its gravitational pull. The moon's gravity is what causes the tides of our oceans. So without our moon, who knows what would happen to our marine ecosystems. The moon is also responsible for the axial tilt of earth and how it stays in relatively the same place. Without the moon, we either wouldn't have any tilt at all, or we would be tilted all the way. This would mean that we would either have no seasons, or some of the most extreme seasons any of us have ever seen. While it doesn't appear the moon is going anywhere soon, sometimes we just have to keep an eye on her to make sure. In our number 5 spot today we have the mysterious gap. Basically, a new analysis by scientists 
scientists at MIT of ancient meteorites found something new and super interesting. In the early solar system, there was what is referred to as a protoplanetary disk of dust and gas that rotated around the sun, and eventually it coalesced into the planets that we know and love today. So this new study and analysis suggests that this sort of mysterious gap existed within this disk somewhere around, I don't know, 4.567 billion years ago, and it was in an area near where the asteroid belt is today. The reason this gap is mysterious is because it isn't quite clear what the cause of this gap was. There are a few possibilities, including Jupiter, during the time when it began to take its shape, because of its extremely large gravitational pull, it could have pushed gas and dust towards the outskirts, which then would leave a gap in the developing disk. There are other possibilities, but regardless of whatever caused this gap, it is said to have likely served as a cosmic boundary that kept material on either side from interacting with each other. In our number four spot today, we have a Blitzar. So normally, when stellar black holes are formed, they are the result of a large star exploding into a supernova. This then has the core normally collapsing into either a neutron star or a black hole. Blitzars are a hypothetical type of neutron star where they spin so fast that if they slow down, they'll collapse right into a black hole. I do understand that they are theoretical at this point, but some researchers believe that these stars might be an explanation for fast radio bursts should we find that they in fact do exist. In January of 2015, there were seven different events that experts thought could be attributed to Blitzars, but it is thought that they actually might occur once every 10 seconds in our observable universe. The the magnetic field around a blitzar would clear anything prior to it turning into a black hole, which means that no nearby material would fall in upon the initial collapse, which means that there is no burst of gamma rays or x-rays, which is usually seen when other black holes form, and this is exactly why, if they do exist, they are hard to detect. Should we come to find concrete evidence of their existence, these guys would prove incredibly valuable insight into the formation of black holes. In our number 3 spot today, we have Hoag's object. Okay, so so there are different shapes to galaxies. That's not the weirdest thing in the world. You know we live in a spiral shaped one, it's beautiful, there are other galaxies called ellipticals that are more like oval shaped, but one galaxy in particular, which is now called Hoag's object, is truly like none we've ever seen. This galaxy has a yellow core, and this core is surrounded by an outer ring of blue stars that are much younger than the core, but in the middle between the two, there's just nothing, and researchers are completely stumped as to how this could have formed. The galaxy was first discovered in the 1950s and since then, there is one leading theory as to how it could have been formed, but it still isn't concrete. Basically, this leading theory suggests that perhaps a small galaxy sped through a larger disk-shaped galaxy, which then created this bizarre situation, but the problem with this theory is that there are no signs of any nearby galaxies that could have served as this sort of bullet in this scenario. If that happened, it also would have sped up the core of Hoag's object, but we can observe it as moving quite slowly, so that also rules out this theory. There have been other galaxies discovered that have some similar characteristics to this one, but none share all of the qualities seen in this very bizarre galaxy. In our number two spot today, we have Humea. Back in 2017, this dwarf planet passed between Earth and a distant star, which allowed scientists to get a better look at it, and thus they were able to discover some new findings. Humea sits in an area beyond Neptune that is called the Cooper Belt, and it is actually one of the largest objects inside of the belt. Before the new discoveries in 2017, we already knew that this dwarf planet was weird. I mean, it has kind of a weird elongated shape, it has two moons, and its day only lasts four hours, which means that it's the fastest spinning large object in our entire solar system. It is thought that its fast spin might be responsible for its weird shape, but either way, scientists were quite surprised in 2017 when they realized that this strange planet actually has rings. This means that Humea likely had some sort of collision, and probably not too long ago, relatively speaking. This collision likely happened somewhere from 1 billion to several hundred million years ago, but the search for the origins of these rings brings a whole new mystery to the dwarf planet. In our number one spot today, we have magnetars. These space things are actually a type of neutron star, but what makes them different is that they have this insanely powerful magnetic field. Like we are talking 1,000 times stronger than a regular neutron star, or about a trillion times stronger than the magnetic field that Earth has. That means that these type of stars would have enough magnetic power to wipe every credit card on Earth, even from a distance halfway to the moon. They're the most magnetic stars in the entire universe. This is all very cool and interesting, but it's also important to note that if you were to venture within about 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers of one of these stars, you would die. 
very quickly. The magnetic field would destroy your body. It would tear electrons from your atoms, which would then basically turn you into a cloud of monotonic ions or single atoms without electrons. This is all to say that next to black holes, these are one of the most bizarre objects in the entire universe. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlovsky, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Coma cluster. This galaxy in the comma cluster, probably the comma, not the coma, that shine out. Uh, um, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, do you mind scrolling down? Thanks. Mm -hmm.